a regional training course designed to help build trade capacity of least developed countries, LDCs, was held in Maputo. Although LDCs are home to around 900 million people, accounting for more than 10% of the world population, they produce only 1% of the world's exports and receive less than 2% of global investment. Trade has long been recognized as a powerful engine for growth and wealth creation. Developing countries, particularly LDCs, continue to face supply-side capacity and trade-related infrastructure constraints which can inhibit the ability to compete in international markets. UNIDO as a specialized agency supporting inclusive and sustainable industrial development has a special emphasis also in developing trade capacity building. Trade capacity building is very important to help countries to develop capacities to integrate the, the uh, international markets by helping them to compete to comply and to connect to the markets. Based on a solid analysis of trade challenges and opportunities, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, designed a program which helps to encourage systematic trade development. The four-day course was organized by UNIDO and the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, with the support of the Enhanced Integrated Framework, EIF, and in cooperation with the Network on Metrology, Accreditation and Standardization for Developing Countries, DCMAS. Any country, to me, to my own knowledge, that has developed must have engaged fully in the trade and in international trade. We are working with the poorest of countries, I mean entitled or classified as least developed countries. Right now in our portfolio is like uh, 48 of these LDCs plus three that have graduated. What is our objective? We believe that trade is an aspect that moves people out of poverty. For LDCs to be part of the uh, international uh, quality system, it's very important to get the, uh, the experience from the other countries, uh, to get the exposure of, of, of uh, uh, countries that have already established um, uh, their system. Uh, to learn and, and, and basically try to, to uh, take the, the lesson learned and to establish the... Um, so so the, the, the international level of the quality uh, infrastructure I is key. The workshop followed a twofold strategy. Firstly, the training provided participants with the technical knowledge to understand the relationship between trade and inclusive and sustainable industrial development. Secondly, the training helped participants to develop skills for project design and monitoring. By the end of the workshop, participants had developed the competence to articulate national needs in an effective manner and to tap available resources and funding at the international level. Um, I'm the facilitator of the workshop here, looking at uh, project planning. Results-based management really makes us think about what it is we're trying to achieve and why we're trying to achieve it. It's not just about doing activities for the sake of them. It's about linking money going into the system to activities through to delivering outputs and thinking why we want those outputs in a project. It might be for an outcome, but ultimately it's for an impact, a developmental impact. During their stay in Maputo, participants also visited the National Institute of Standards and Quality, which is supported by UNIDO's private sector and quality promotion program implemented in Mozambique. I would also thank UNIDO for giving us the opportunity to have this training, which helps in uh, project management for the project managers who are around. This is a very good tool for you in this training. And myself, I've been able to uh, learn a lot because I, I do a lot of project management back at home in Uganda. I really like the training because it opened my eyes to so many other aspects that I didn't uh, think about before. Like uh, you get to understand that uh, trade has to be part of the developmental agenda of any country. So during the training we got to understand what other countries are doing successfully in order to promote their trade. The what I've learned till now uh, is uh, very important because uh, it is uh, helping me to elaborate good projects and uh, it also helps me to understand all about the quality infrastructure as a, a tool for uh, accessing international markets.
involvement of stakeholders is a very critical. I learned that. And even in the project cycle, when we discuss about the project cycle, from the starting to the final uh, evaluation steps, I learned that monitoring is ongoing process. So while we make it systematically, the final lesson is all the time we should learn. 21 participants from Burundi, Chad, Ethiopia, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Senegal, Swaziland, Togo, and Uganda attended the event.